How's it going guys, Sharplox here. In this video, I will show you guys how to make your own big head on Roblox. So you guys might know what the big head is already. There's a few of them. The yellow one is called big head. We've got the red one, which is called bigger head. And then we've got the blue one, which is called biggest head. Now the problem with all of these items is if you guys want to get them, you can't because they are all off sale. Roblox only put the yellow and red one on when there's some kind of like special sale, you know, some kind of event. And the blue one is actually going to be off sale for Ever because this was a UGC item which actually got cancelled. Now I don't know why this was taken off sale as you can see it was very popular but there's still a lot of people which didn't get this and they didn't actually get the chance to get it. So of course in this video we will be designing our own big head. So this idea was actually given to me by the Gaming Bat 68 and if you guys have any cool ideas make sure to join my Discord server and go ahead and put them in the video suggestions channel. But what this guy said, he said, I found out a way to make a custom big head for free. First equip the trim head, make sure your um, skin tone is yellow, um, then enter the Roblox game files, edit the face to the one he's putting images and then join a game and then you've got your own bigger head. Now I'm going to kind of customize this a bit and change it up. But obviously, massive shout out um, to the gaming bat for suggesting the idea which basically made this video happen. So there's two things we actually need to get off the Roblox website and the cool thing is everything is free. So what we want to do is we want to go over to body parts, you want to go over to heads and you want to choose. You can either get trim or roundy. Blockhead does also work but it just kind of looks a bit weird. Um, the other ones you can get, I think narrow would work quite well. Um, but if you want to get um, roundy it's probably the best one and it's free. And I don't even have this and it's got over 10 million sales. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to take roundy for free. You don't want to go to the next link in the description and this is where we can get the big head smile. This is basically the custom face that we need to install in our Roblox files so it will show up on our avatar. Now I've got a plugin that lets me view it as transparent so I'm just going to right click and I'm going to copy it. If you guys um, have one that shows it as white like this just go ahead and copy it as well because we can make it transparent in a second. Now this is kind of similar to my free face video but what you want to do is go over to the Roblox player icon, we're going to right click this and we are going to click on the open file location. Now once you open the file location we want to go into content, we need to go into the textures folder and then we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for the default face and what we're going to do, we're going to right click it, we're going to select copy and we're going to drag this and paste it into some new folder, maybe somewhere in our documents or downloads, just somewhere else on your computer, even your desktop is okay, just so you can edit it. So here we are, blank space in my downloads. I'm just going to right click and I'm going to paste it. And I'm also going to paste two of them. The reason is, is because um, we need like kind of like a backup just in case you want the original one. So I'm just going to create a new folder again and I'm just going to paste the original in there. So there you go. We should actually have two faces. We want to get the first one. We want to right click it and we're just going to open this with paint.net, paint, paint 3D. Um, paint 3D and paint.net are probably the best or Photoshop or just any application that can use like the transparency transparent textures. So once we've got this opened, this is where we need to paste in our new face. So remember this face, I think I copied it, but we should probably copy it again. Right click copy and then we can overwrite it. So I'm just going to create a new layer first. I'm going to press Control V on my keyboard, keep canvas size, and we are going to completely resize it. And basically what this does is you need to hold shift as well. And we're just going to overlap it on the original face. And then basically what this will do is become the bigger face, bigger face, whatever you want to call it. We can now delete the background layer. And there you go. We're going to go to file. We're going to go to save. We're going to click on OK. And we've now saved this over the original face. So here we are guys, back in our downloads folder. We can actually bring up the textures folder right here. We're just going to make it a bit smaller. We're going to grab the face and we're basically just going to overwrite it. So probably just copying it is a bit easier. There you go, my textures folder. We're going to right click and paste. We're going to overwrite the original. You will have to be an administrator on your computer. But once that's done, it should overwrite. And now we can get to creating our avatar and this should finally work. So now we are going to create our avatar. Just for this video, I'm going to select my noob package. We're then going to put on the roundy face. Make sure you have the default face enabled. So if you go into body and faces, make sure you've got nothing in here selected. Then we should be good to go. You want to go into body and skin tone. If you click on advanced, you can customize your head. So you can have it yellow, um, we can have it red, we can even have it blue, or we can even have it green. It really doesn't matter. You can literally make your own custom big head. I think I'm actually gonna go for this purple kind of color. We're 
we'll see what this turns out like. Now, if you guys want to give this the best effect, you want to switch to the R15 mode. We're, gonna, we're then going to go into body and scale. Make sure that head is on 100% and you can actually decrease the height and the width. If you do stuff like this, you can kind of get it so your avatar's head is just looking a lot bigger than your body. As you can see right there, the head is starting to look a bit better. Now, you can mess with proportions. I'm going to try and get it perfect and then I'll let you guys copy it. But yeah, I'm just going to try and configure some stuff and I will be back once I've got it looking its best. Okay, so I think this is the best setting. If you put body type on zero, height on 90%, width on 70, head at 100, and proportions at 100, maybe you can change this a little bit. I think this is probably the best setup you can get for your avatar's head looking the biggest. As you can see, actually, maybe proportion zero. Hmm, I'm not too sure. It kind of looks similar. We're going to join a game in R15 mode. This does work on R6 as well, but it just looks a lot better on R15. Okay guys, so inside of an R15 game, as you can see, it really does give off a nice round effect. And you can see the face is working and it looks very, very cool. The only downside to this, if someone else happens to be using the default face, it will kind of um, overlap this one with their face. Um, so you will see people with the same face as you if they've got the default face equipped in. But yeah, apart from that, very cool. I'm sure you guys can customize it and getting it looking a lot better than what I can do. But yeah, I just thought this was quite cool. Quite a nice, unique feature. And you can make your own big head that looks custom and looks pretty cool if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like leave a subscribe if you are new thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next one